over the different parts of how rivers and streams can get water pollution and if you are close enough to an ocean it can empty all these things into the ocean. So we're going to um, zoom in on some of these things here. So let's go over what we have. We have deforestation. We have mining over here. We have a city over here. We have a power plant and we have farming over here. So let's go ahead to the next slide to zoom in. So first up here at the top, let's talk about deforestation. So deforestation, you're going to, and you can draw some arrows, they're not on here, but you can draw arrows down into the water. Um, so when you cut down trees, you're going to have sediment pollution and thermal pollution because of reduced amount of shade. Draw arrows to show the direction of the flow of water as well. So these are streams that go into a river, and um, we call them tributaries. So streams that go into a river are tributaries of that river. All right, so over here we have mining. So we have an old mining cart and then a mountain or a piece of ore or whatever. So what mining, you have this loose soil. So um, a lot of mining is done on the surface, but some mining is done underground, but they have excess soil and a rainstorm can wash that excess soil into um, tributaries or into directly into the river. And you have the sediments from the soil, but also as you, they use toxic chemicals, but they also expose layers that can be toxic. So um, when you mine for certain things like coal, you can ex also expose sulfur seam. And that sulfur is exposed to rain and water, which turns into sulfuric acid, and we call it um, acid mine drainage. And so that's a toxic chemical that runs off into water. Sometimes heavy metals are exposed as well, which can run off into water if they're not contained. Now, mining operations are supposed to contain all of that um, acid mine drainage and toxic metals and any of that stuff, they're supposed to contain it, but sometimes their containment ponds burst and can flow into streams and rivers. All right, let's go over here to the next one. You can see the little tiny city scene. So with cities, you're going to have mainly non-point source pollution. So a whole, you know, thousands, hundreds of thousands of lawns with their herbicides. Herbicides kill weeds. So Roundup weed killer, people spray it around their houses or even their fertilizers from their lawns can run off. And so because it comes from lots of little tiny sources, we call it non-point source. Motor oil, if you have a car, we have a car in the driveway that drips motor oil. That can go down into the street, into the storm drains. Animal waste from pets, kitty litter that people don't dispose of properly can go down storm drains and then into rivers and um, into the ocean. Over here, you don't see it, but right above this is the farming little pictures. So farming practices, you can have fertilizer runoff, manure runoff from livestock, and both of these have nitrogen and phosphorus. Fertilizer also has potassium, so NPK, but K, potassium, doesn't lead to um, eutrophication. Um, then you also have manure runoff with coliform bacteria. So you have nutrient runoff, so nutrient pollution, and pathogen pollution, bacteria pollution. So cow poop, they're mammals, goats, and pigs, they're all mammals, and they have coliform bacteria. Now, chickens can also have bacteria. They don't mean, doesn't mean they do, but um, they can have salmonella, but that's not a coliform bacteria. But it still can pollute the water. Okay, um, the next one we have here is a power plant. Um, and power plants mostly use water that's hot, boiling water, to spin turbines. And then, now they're supposed to have holding areas 
for that hot water to cool down, and then they reuse that water again. And um, sometimes the holding places are in a body of water. Sometimes they're next to it. It just depends on the regulation in that state. Um, so some of them just use the river water that it's next to, and so they're kind of constantly be taking in cool water and releasing hot water, so you're going to have thermal pollution. Coal power plants, so about 40% of the electricity in the United States is made from burning coal, and it can release toxic metals um, in things like coal fly ash. If it's not contained, if a big rainstorm or a flood can um, take that byproduct, that coal fly ash, that's a waste product from coal burning, and it can run into rivers, and that can be toxic metals. 